Hello beautiful people on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Chanel. Bleu de Chanel. The original one from 2010 versus a 2023 batch. And actually guys, I got samples. The small one is the sample from 2010 and the bigger sample is the one batch, you know, the batch from 2023. Actually, it's a pretty funny story because I sold my original 2010 batch to one of my friends a couple of years ago. Then I call him to hear if I could borrow the bottle and a couple of sprays, you know, of the original 2010 batch. Then he told me that he had moved to a whole another city that's why he sent me a sample of the original my original now he's original 2010 bottle and batch you know actually these days guys i only own the parfum edition of bleu de chanel you know but it's the same concept same bottle you know with magnetic cap and stuff like that um it just doesn't stand Parfum on the original, you know, 2010 batch, of course. But just in case, then you can see right here the bottle on the screen of the original 2010 Bleu de Chanel EDT. People who are very familiar with Bleu de Chanel, you know, and the concept and smell knows that it's a very, very great citrus fragrance with a pink pepper, you know, isu e super, nutmeg, vetiver and stuff like that. A very, very great and lovely citrus fragrance. But back to the subject, guys. I'm very, very extremely, you know, familiar with the performance of the old 2010 original batch right here. I wanted yesterday again, you know, so I could see and tell about the performance, projection, longevity and stuff like that. And today I'm going to wear the new 2023 batch so I can compare these two and see if there are any differences. So I will come back to you guys tomorrow and tell you if there are any differences, you know, between this first 2010 batch and the newer 2023 batch i'm excited see you tomorrow guys hello guys and welcome back to this second part of the bloody chanel comparison video where i compare the old first 2010 batch of bloody chanel the original edt with a newer 2023 batch to see and tell if there are any differences in the performance. But actually the differences wasn't that big at all as I thought that would be. So let's get into it guys. When we are talking the old 2010 batch right here, it has a great, you know, sillage and when we are talking projection, it has a great projection for the first two to three hours before it settles closer to the skin. It's not a skin scent yet, but it's a lot closer to the skin after the first two to three hours. Um, then you have a great scent bubble around you until you hit the six hour mark. Then it starts to become a skin scent. And when you hit the eight hour mark, then it's completely a skin scent, but actually a great performer when we are talking at EDT concentration. When we are talking about the newer 2023 batch right here, it has a great sillage as well. And when we are talking projection, it has a great projection for the first one to two hours before it starts settling a lot closer to the skin but you still got a nice scent cloud around you, not as punchy as the 2010 batch, but you still have a nice scent cloud around you until you hit the fourth hour mark, and then it's a lot closer to the skin. Then you can smell it if you pass people or people pass you, you know, you get whiffs of it. But when you hit the six to seven hour mark, it's completely a skin scent, at least on my skin. 
So the differences aren't that extreme, you know, when I compare these two. But of course, the older and the old first 2010 batch right here have been matured a lot longer than the newer 2023 batch, of course. But I know when we are talking citrus fragrances, it's not necessarily a good thing. But I know it's very, very good materials, um, Chanel use, you know, and stuff like that. So it's still very great and very fresh and potent. And of course, it has been stored in a dark, cool place. I know that for sure. I did that and my friend do that as well. But um, there were small differences, but the biggest differences of the small differences are when we are talking the full longevity. You know, the old 2010 batch, we are talking eight hours before it becomes a skin scent and start disappearing. And when we are talking the newer 2023 batch here, then we are talking six to seven hours. When we hit the seventh hour mark, as I said, it's completely a skin scent. I just think that they maybe have been watered the old EDT version a little bit down when they launched, you know, the newer EDP and Parfum version, and that's it. So there aren't any remarkable changes in the performance, actually. Will I still buy Bleu de Chanel EDT in 2024? Yes, actually I will, because it still keeps up the old and, and classic DNA, and uh, we are only talking small differences in the performance, a projection, longevity, and stuff like that. Um, and that's what it is compared to if you really like the smell. And I really like the smell, you know. Um, it's Chanel, and we know they are using a great materials, and um, and their their fragrances are performing really good, you know. And a lot of fragrance companies water down the EDT versions these days to make room for the newer EDP versions, Parfum versions, and of course, Elixir versions. There's no Elixir of Blue de Chanel yet. We will see with time. Maybe they make it, I don't know. That was my comparison video of Bleu de Chanel's first 2010 batch versus a newer 2023 batch. I hope that you enjoyed the video, guys. If you want to see more content on my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button. And to the viewers who already have subscribed to my channel, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Haven't got much left to say. I only want to say that I hope that you enjoy your life with your family, friends, and loved ones. Until I see you again, enjoy life even more. See you guys.